It's car con carne. Let's eat in the car. It's car con carne. And now here's the star of our show, James Van Ostel. Car con carne recording backstage, literally right behind the stage at Taste of Randolph 2024. Carcon Carne is sponsored by Easy Automation, easy-automation.net. Are you a homeowner? Are you ready for a truly smart home? Doesn't the idea of minimizing your energy usage while maximizing your comfort sound good? As I'm sitting here on a really hot day with the AC cranked, minimizing your energy usage is a really good idea. Easy Automation will help you find a customized solution that's right for you. They have a team with 30 years of collective experience in the industry and will tailor a service package that fits your lifestyle and needs. What does that package look like? You got to talk to my guy, Dan. Give him a call directly at 630-730-3728. Dan will give you a no hassle, no strings quote so you can learn how easy turning your home into a smart home can be. Easy-automation.net. Tickets for the 2024 Ravinia Festival summer schedule are available now at ravinia.org. So much goodness coming up. The Beach Boys, Elvis Costello with Daryl Hall, ZZ Top, how, how, how. So many more ranging from classical to rock, all points in between, all happening under the stars at Ravinia. Book your tickets today before they all go away. Ravinia.org for the full schedule and for tickets. This is better, yeah. I think, yeah, getting people drunk in the sunlight is a really good idea. (laughs) It usually leads to a good uh, nighttime. Well, and it also, I mean, it makes their perception of the live performances more favorable. We we kind of rely on that. That's why it was tough to do a 215. Uh, People loved it. Everyone was enjoying it. (laughs) Devin K and the Solutions. If you're not one of the Solutions, you're one of the problems, really. Yeah, that's what I'm always saying that. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have most of the band in the car, which isn't right. <laughs> like, well, we didn't need to do this, Devin. I don't we want did. everyone to think that it's just about me. Uh, I'm nothing without the team that I have behind Says me. Says the guy whose van has his name on the A license plate. A lot of things plate. that I own, I put my name on in case I forget where they are. You ever, you ever park in Disney Lot 7 and you lose your van? Well, I'm not. A lot of people have these vans. Also, it's it. pretty funny when you go up to a hotel desk and they're like, okay, well, what's the license plate? And you're like, D-E-V-O-N. And it's like the same name on the room. And they stare at you blankly. And for a couple of minutes, you feel joy. Devin K and the Solutions. This is Carcone Carne, a Q101 podcast. I'm James Van Ossel. Devin K and the Solutions, as we are recording this, just wrapped up on stage on the West Stage of Taste of Randolph 2024. Uh, how how did it go? It was the best set of the of the fest. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, we, we, even done. It, it's actually kind of crazy that there's letting other people play. Yeah, actually, <laughs> local H just called in. Like, oh yeah, well, they're oh, done. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah. Scott yeah. just said, "What's the point? Pathetic. Like, why, why, why bother?" <laughs> they're scared. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> uh, it. Is this true? Is this your last show in Chicago for a while? For a while until like November, but I'm not allowed to talk about what date it is until that happens. But it's going to be a minute. We're working on a new. We're going to work on some new music. We have a, a, a seven inch coming out in July of cool songs and uh, two co- <laughs> uh, of cool uh, video game songs that we worked on when we didn't want to write a well I didn't want to write a record I was tired <laughs> so we did <laughs> we did something else instead and now we're working on a record so we're taking a quick break from touring we've been out for pretty much the past year it's been awesome <laughs> it's been and, cool. and you have all your, or you had all your records on sale here oh yeah uh, do you like do you like having your stuff available on vinyl I, I think it's awesome I don't love vinyl i don't really care about it but it seems to be the best way to convince someone to buy a music souvenir yeah. aside from a t-shirt which sounds crazy i don't like listen to vinyl i, I don't know do any of you uh, any yeah. Vinyl yeah. Oh, oh yeah yeah all right well it's mixed Small there a, you're wrong devin <laughs> i'm wrong it's fine i don't see any like benefit to listening to something on vinyl i mean it doesn't also, help that there's seven people that all will have different opinions yeah, yeah. it's just this, a this numbers what game. a van ride is like. <laughs> how many <laughs> wait i can't even see do we have four in the back seat just right four. now yeah, we're castle. missing two members yeah, we're Ian missing and Joram, two. we love you sorry you're not here but that's castle brian jacob and jake it's uh, a small car. It's okay. <laughs> Please send them my regards. It's, I will. We, I will. We just, I will. This is not meant to happen. Uh, no, so you, I saw you got the you had the records on sale. Mm. Um, you're going to record new stuff. You yeah. did the ska. Yes. I mean, you, you've, you've always been, as a goof, you've always been ska, Jason. You've always done cool shit right. with horns. We love ska. And I think that 
Scott is having a, a, a well-deserved... I don't think anything's having a moment. I think everything is, like, micro. Yeah. And so now if you want to go listen we, to Scott... We call that long tail. Yeah. Is yeah. that what that's called? Yeah, sure. I, I've never heard that. Uh, yeah, you just... Uh, you just go look for it now. And so if you want to find Ska, there's a really healthy and awesome Ska community, the Bad Time Records Bands, Ska Punk International, a lot of great labels. Go look at their roster. Uh, and we just thought it was it would be cool. We had these songs. Uh, Jacob uh, Joram helped write a bunch. Everyone helps write every song, but they gave me templates. And now there's Ska songs, and they're some of our most popular shit. I, I took a song from high school and re-recorded it, and it's now one of our most played songs. And that's annoying, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, what's the song from high school? Uh, Pump Fake. I did it in a band called K's Place. Was the I played it at our high school graduation ceremony. I was in like a like a checkered tie and an ill-fitted yes, you were. suit, <laughs> and nobody cared. It was awesome. There's a I have video of it because I film everything that we do all the time, and uh, I'll maybe one day put it on the internet. But I notice. I noticed no one cared in an auditorium of a thousand people. It was sick. Good times. So, Devin, last time we sat down and did a podcast, it was at Riot Fest 2021. We were slowly emerging from the plague Yes. at that point. My lasting perception of you sitting down, and we'll see if oh, no. the band feels the same way. Uh, uh, charmingly nihilistic. Like, sure. Like, what's, what's the point, but with a good sense of humor? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. I mean, right? Yeah, you know, I don't have to the say Albert Cabo of our times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> don't never, worry. Never read their stuff. Uh, but <laughs> I, uh, yeah, you, I don't know. Religion doesn't really make a lot of sense to some. I'm not going to dog on anybody for doing their thing. Uh, to me, I guess. And not, uh, it doesn't make sense that you go anywhere else after life. Well, let's get real deep into it. So, uh, <laughs> so it's kind of fun just to enjoy this time that you have and do whatever you want. And sometimes that's make ska music with seven of your best friends. You can't make ska music with less than seven people. You can. There's a lot, actually, a lot. <laughs> I, I've read the bylaws. I don't bands. think so. <laughs> Cat bite. Looking at you. <laughs> a of, yeah, a lot of higher paid, more successful bands doing it with less people, which is a really smart move. <laughs> <laughs> so, since you mentioned that you chronicle everything, you you are the videographer. We're yeah. We all kind of got into it uh, recently. So everybody sets up like a camera. And then we edit them all together on our YouTube page uh, to to remind everyone how good we are. <laughs> <laughs> but if you go to a show, you can probably watch a, a recap of it on YouTube because, I don't know, I, what else are you going to do with your time? <laughs> well, let's talk about video. Let's talk about Millennial Homesick Blues. Okay. Uh, video of you glued to your phone in, uh -huh. is that a man cave? What are we looking That's at? That's my there? office. Is that really? <laughs> That's where I film my Twitch channel, if you're on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Devin K Twitches. Uh, these goobers show up on it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. That's just where I do all of the work. And there was, we needed a video. And what an easy, I just wrote that song about being on your phone. So what an easier way to just be liter, liter, literal. <laughs> now, are you that guy in real life? Like, are you able, unable to put your phone down? Yeah, or you're always... always, I'm addicted to it. I love it. I love every little thing that's on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I broke, I love that addiction. If I Ian, love that If addiction. Ian was here, he would re recall the story on this last tour. I dropped, I broke my phone recently. It's, it's acting up. And the screen was going out. And I finally twisted it to get the, the wire and the screen to work. And then uh, the first thing I did was open it up and watch cat videos. <laughs> In like seconds. I don't, I need that hit. <laughs> Mental health concerns aside, I mean, for right now, it's, it's working. It sucks. It, it's cool. You feel really bad all the time. But man, have you seen some of the videos people make? They're great. Cats people are, are so crazy. creative and so cool. And I want to, I love watching people be creative and cool. And there's so many, so much of that on the internet right now. There's so many talented people that don't get any respect you know i do agree with that yeah uh also uh, on recent releases uh bitchin in stereo hell yeah I, I i love that uh thank you every compromise comes with a smile yeah that's a great line yeah that's about when we were on a different record label uh th that would didn't really work out pure noise records and it just wasn't <laughs> it just well, who gives a shit yeah. <laughs> they don't even own it anymore i <laughs> uh yeah yeah it was like uh we had a really cool opportunity to make something and I'm really thankful that they paid for it and that they did I just don't think they got our band and so Fine the Sky EP is kind of a spite EP it's kind of like a, it's about like a lot of people said we weren't Ska enough so then we're like fuck you we're gonna make a Ska record we had gotten out of our record contract and we were bitter about it and so we just made like the meanest little record this bitchy <laughs> And now we're making kind of a bitchy album about the music industry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. We've been doing it a long time. We've got a lot of cool opportunities, and 
to see all the different ends of it, uh, it stinks. Do everything yourself. Do everything yourself. <laughs> Own your masters. Don't give them away. Don't give away 50% of your IP. Yeah, it's yeah, stupid. And, and Devin, yeah. is there anything in this car that doesn't smack of DIY? Uh, no man, <laughs> I yeah. love this car. Mazda three. What is a what? Are, what are we talking? Yeah, it's a Mazda three. It fly. I've got like one hundred sixty thousand miles on it. I've you got. Paid off? Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Dude. But like ten, <laughs> like ten years ago, this car is so old. Uh, I've got no, mics on the. You got to keep them running. I think that's the coolest part about cars. Dude, I, I've never been a car guy. Like my theory is, I'm going to drive this until that one day where I close the driver's side door <laughs> and every panel just falls <laughs> off like Holy a cartoon. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> No, good. I mean, that's they should. You should drive them until they're dust. I like think I see people yeah. driving through Chicago with these really expensive cars. I'm like, what are you doing? I mean, I want a Cybertruck. I don't want to admit <laughs> it. I don't like the guy who made it, but I really think the thing is funny. Do you think they're funny? I think they're funny. I think that I think they're <laughs> so over the top and weird. Like it, it, it feels intentional. Yeah, it kind of. But I was, but see, then it, then I would make the guy who made it look good because then he'd be like punking us so let's not say it that way <laughs> I think it's more it's so stupid and we should preserve it it's like the DeLorean I feel like of our time right now I want to like it totally buy one is. and lock it in a garage and then in 20 years be the king of my town because <laughs> I kept a perfect stupid car that's my dream someone buy me a DeLorean I saw a Tesla with a bumper I, mean, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw a Tesla with a bumper sticker maybe six months ago and it stuck with me it said something along the lines of I bought this before I knew how much of an asshole he was <laughs> hey the model the model Y or whatever is pretty good hey, but car. don't you kind of look at Teslas and wonder about the drivers I do, yeah, I feel like they always cut me off. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they cut off my big white van all the time. Like they're better than me. You're not yeah, there's no no working class person is driving a Tesla. <laughs> no. You can <laughs> Well, you know, so much has happened since last we spoke. Yeah. I mean, it's been it's been a few years. Uh, we never had the chance to talk about grieving expectation. Mm. Um, the optimist, I, ironically, the optimist. Uh, <laughs> I never saw in my wildest dreams a reference to trains drop of drops of Jupiter coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was listening to a lot of mom rock during the pandemic, and uh, that song made me cry when it was like, remember the time during the pandemic where you would stay up till three in the morning, wasted, and uh, you would be list listening to music because you didn't have to go anywhere the next day? I was just like sitting in my desk with headphones on, and I don't know why I listen to Train. I do a lot of deep dives of bands that mm -hmm. stink. <laughs> and uh, train doesn't stink. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna come to the defense of Train. They're pretty pretty good band, man. You should check out Train. Hashtag brave. Hashtag brave. <laughs> I'm a I'm a train head. Their wine's fucking good too. They have a wine. Of course they have a wine. They have wine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Some, the mom rock band of the fucking century. Does Q101 <laughs> play train? I feel like they got drops I of jupe in, like, no, in the fucking rotate. I, I, th I think drops of jupe was probably around in, in 2001. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I don't, I don't even work for the radio station. I'm Q101 adjacent. That's fair. That's <laughs> fair. That's still cool as shit. I would, yeah. I would, yeah, I'd kill to be. I hear uh, I'm going to take Brian and Kenzie's spot. I got an idea, yeah. I gotta, I'm going to pitch it to them later. And see they, <laughs> pitch see stealing the, their jobs? Yeah, if they just want to quit and let me do it, I got it. I think that'd be pretty sick. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't even think about it. No, don't take their jobs. That's not nice. Okay, fine. Right. <laughs> but I, would listen, I would listen to a Devin K Boner show. Boner in the douche. Boner in the douche. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's going to be sick. That's the name of my first adult movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it. Yeah. I'm open minded. All right, so you are you are sequestering yourself, sequestering yourself, and you're not coming out until you have new music. Are you sure you don't want to wait till after the election to, to write new music? Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like anything I have to say about it, you can probably just get like echoed on John Oliver or something, like white guy talks. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a bunch of songs about uh, the music industry being mean to us and small bands. <laughs> uh, there are plenty of great bands who will write awesome election uh, albums, and you can check them out. Not that I don't have an opinion about it, uh, I just have a topic I really want to talk about, because I've been doing this a very long time, and a lot of stuff has changed, but nothing has changed, and it's kind of fascinating. It's weird, people have been taking advantage of musicians for a really long time and devaluing the idea that they don't have to pay for music, and it's a really weird one, socially, <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. What? What do you mean, dude? You have to buy video games and shit. You can still pirate them, but essentially you have to buy them. I gotta buy fucking books. <laughs> <laughs> buy my art, man. I don't know. I, I'm not in it for money, but boy, would I like to pay my rent I, and, and stuff doing this. And I'm sure all seven of us would as well. We're not like, we're not against having real jobs, but I, I don't know. It's, it's a weird... 
It's a weird thing, and I, I don't understand it. But I also do because I pay for Spotify and rip off artists too. So I guess I'm part of the problem. Now, do you think, had you not expanded the band to seven members and kept the circle tight and shared the money with fewer people, that you'd be a millionaire by now? No, absolutely not. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be doing anything if it wasn't for the people. I said this earlier. I wouldn't be doing anything if it wasn't for the people I surround myself with. Uh, I'm kind of a mental case, uh, wild-brained person, and I got seven people who are talented and smart and listen to what I say. And then uh, also don't listen to what I say in the best way at times <laughs> and make the best quality thing you've ever heard. So, no, if I hadn't uh, picked up a group of people that kicked ass, I wouldn't be talking to you. So, yeah, it's Devin K and the Solutions, dude. Wow, you, you just gave me the lockout. We're done. That, that's, that's it. That's it. Interview <laughs> fucking over, dude. Devin no, K and the Solutions. I can talk to you for the rest of the year. All right, so when, you, when you're done with those new songs, let's do this again. I would love to. I'd love to. I'll sit in your car anytime. Yeah, maybe I'll borrow a different vehicle. Yeah, we can sit in Lois, my van. Well, Wouldn't we could do it in your sick? van. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Could you yeah. play in your van? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, fall. Let's I mean, see. honestly, if you wanted to cool. use my van to do that with people, we can talk. Amazing. I don't. I, if yeah. I'm not on tour, then this van is just sitting around. She loves to be. All right. Are you guys down for doing this again in the yeah. fall? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You're a delight. We'll, we'll, we'll get more mics so that we have more more voices. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. Nice job today, and uh, I hope good luck hammering everything out. We'll do this again in yeah, a few months. You'll hear from yeah. us. We're not going to go away unless yeah. we do.